you 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 won't know what you're eating is actually killing you. my channel my name is Timmy and today we are going to be talking about 10 jobs or 10 careers that you can do in the NHS so I'm also known as Nigerian Mommy Diaspora and I live in Birmingham United Kingdom um, I do like videos about lifestyle in the UK you know life in the UK life in Birmingham life in the West Midlands and stuff like that please follow me on Instagram at Ninja Mom in Diaspora or you should make sure to subscribe so I've got the list here with me of 10 jobs that you can do in the UK I, actually I have 10 more on my Instagram so when you're done watching this you should go back to my Instagram and read them and I have 10 here so basically 20 in all so first job that I've got here is that you can be a dietitian so dietics is a very important part of people who of people's health like not everybody will eat everything sometimes people need to be gluten free sometimes people need to be dairy free but they won't really know until they are checked by a dietitian and then their bodies just keep falling apart and considering the fact that we eat every day you you, you won't know what you're eating is actually killing you and dietitians work closely with gps with doctors with everybody basically that is involved in the person's life to give them the best food that would work and nourish their body so a dietitian would assess people they would diagnose people and stuff like that so another thing you can do is that you can be a paramedic so a paramedic is somebody that would be like the first um the first line of contact in case there's an emergency even it may not be an emergency for example if there was a fire and maybe yes truly nobody burned but obviously some people have inhaled smoke when um, the ambulance is coming or when the fire service are coming they will have to come with a paramedic because some people might need first aid immediately paramedics are trained to give first aids to resuscitate people to um, give immediate drugs you know to set lines to give drip in case they may need all those things before they get to the hospital so yeah paramedics uh, do that kind of job um, another job you can do is speech and language therapy so speech and language therapy doesn't just have to do with speech and language it has to do with eating drinking so basically all the work that does that your mouth can do basically so yeah you need to help people with eating drinking um, speaking you know understanding talking and stuff like that so yeah that's what speech and language therapy will do and yes they work with the NHS um, another thing is a call handler slash emergency medical dispatcher so the call handler is a person you call when you call 999 for emergencies that the first person that would okay then take your details then send out an, an ambulance to wherever you are they work 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year so obviously they will do shifts and then you take um you take calls for people who need emergency and then you dispatch riders to them another job you can do in the nhs is um domestic services so obviously the, the hospital needs to be clean the care homes need to be clean so some people will do the cleaning some people will clean the dust you know do all the cleanings of the floor and stuff like that so yes you work in the nhs as well um housekeeper as well you know to keep everywhere clean and tidy change the bed sheets um you know stuff like that so that's the job of a housekeeper as well so we've got the information management staff so these people are the ones that keep records um like the librarian <laughs> like the librarian of the hospital they keep records they access records when they need it so that they can improve the job of the nhs so that you know people can say oh, this is what i liked about the nhs when i came in their records the records of patients how they can improve the jobs of the patients when those information are retrieved but basically they keep the information for when it's needed by management um then public health practitioner so you can work as public health um a public health practitioner is uh, is somebody who 
works with the general public basically um if there's an outbreak they'll be the first line of contact to see how they can stop some kind of outbreak in the society in the community they would try to make you know they're the ones that do awareness of certain things like if you're working around the uk now you see flu jab everywhere you come and take your flu jab flu jab this flu jab that they're the ones that make awareness they're the ones that will make awareness about some sicknesses that may be affect that may affect you as a person that may affect your neighbor and stuff like that so um yeah this is what the public um health um, practitioners do basically public health um under public health practitioners you have people who work as um community nurses health visitors so basically their own is just to come to your homes basically your homes your environment and just generally give you tips on how to you know live a healthy life just to prevent sicknesses so we've got the ambulance care assistant these people or the ambulance care assistant or the patients patient transport services so these people will take you to the hospital in safely that's the word i'll use they'll take you to the hospital safely they'll make sure you're safe to the hospital and um, that's the person who will drive you you may need if you need somebody to be like a support worker with you in the ambulance the paramedic so basically these are the jobs of people in the ambulance sometimes you may have somebody else um, depending on how severe it is but basically you would always have um, a patient transport service um, which is the driver and a ambulance care and ambulance care assistant um, um finally you can be a receptionist so yeah if you call for example if you call the hospital to book an appointment um, with your GP obviously you have to speak to a receptionist so, um, or let's say for example whilst I was pregnant I remember when I was pregnant um, when we had to be at the maternity word um, maternity a word I can I think um, when you come in you need to speak to you need to submit your um, letter and um, to show them that you're coming in then you need to sit down with speak to somebody before you're called in stuff like that so obviously those are the receptionists. so these are 10 jobs that you can do with the NHS without being a doctor or a nurse, you know, or something like that. Yeah, I think that's it. So um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.